Greetings, and welcome to yet another intellectual journey into the realm of the mind. Today, we delve into the enigmatic corridors of self-estrangement, a philosophical concept that probes our very sense of identity and selfhood. It's a journey where the familiar becomes foreign, where we transform into observers of our own lives, and where the I that we know, or think we know, becomes a stranger. We are about to embark on an expedition that will take us through the shadowy hinterlands of our own consciousness, a place where the self and the not-self dance in a ballet of paradoxical unity. Have you ever caught your reflection in the mirror unexpectedly, and for a fleeting moment, failed to recognize the person staring back at you? Have you ever felt like a tourist in your own life, a spectator observing your actions and emotions from a distance? This is self-estrangement, a state where we become strangers to ourselves. But what pushes us into this state? And more importantly, can we find our way back? Self-estrangement is an intricate web woven from various psychological, existential, and philosophical strands. At its core, it is a disconnection, a gap between the person we perceive ourselves to be and the person we actually are. It's the dissonance that echoes when our actions, thoughts, or feelings don't align with our self-perception. It's the whisper of alienation that rustles in the back of our minds when we can't reconcile our image of ourselves with the reality of our being. This disconnection can be born of many things. It may stem from societal and cultural expectations, pushing us to mold ourselves into shapes that don't fit our true form. It may arise from unresolved trauma or stress, causing us to retreat and dissociate from our own experiences. It may be a byproduct of the relentless pursuit of an idealized version of ourselves, a version we may never be able to attain. But self-estrangement is not merely an individual experience. It is also a mirror reflecting the societal structures and cultural norms that often shape our identity. It's a commentary on the pressures of conformity, the weight of expectation, and the cost of individuality in a world that often values sameness. One of the greatest explorers of self-estrangement was the philosopher and social theorist, Karl Marx. Marx saw self-estrangement as a symptom of capitalism, a system that alienates workers from their labor, thus creating a sense of self-estrangement. This idea was further explored by existentialist philosopher Jean-Paul Sartre, who believed that self-estrangement was a form of bad faith a denial of our own freedom and responsibility, leading to self-deception and inauthenticity. In contemporary times, psychologist R.D. Lying offered a different perspective, viewing self-estrangement as a potential path to self-discovery. He suggested that the disconnection we feel might be a sign of our true self, struggling to break free from the constraints of societal norms and expectations. Culturally, the theme of self-estrangement has been explored in various forms of art. Take for instance, the novel The Stranger by Albert Camus. The protagonist, Mersault, is a perfect embodiment of self-estrangement, living his life with a disturbing level of detachment. Similarly, in the realm of cinema, the film Fight Club delves into the depths of self-estrangement, exploring the protagonist's struggle with identity and self-perception. In the realm of music, Pink Floyd's Comfortably Numb is a poignant illustration of self-estrangement, with its lyrics painting a picture of a man disconnected from his own feelings and experiences. Contemporary discussions around self-estrangement are often tied to the discourse surrounding mental health. Some psychologists view self-estrangement as a symptom of conditions like depersonalization derealization disorder. However, Others argue that it is a natural, albeit uncomfortable, part of the human experience, a state that can potentially lead to profound self-discovery and growth. This debate underscores the importance of understanding self-estrangement. In an age where mental health is gaining recognition as a critical aspect of overall well-being, understanding the phenomena that can affect our sense of self is crucial. More importantly, in a rapidly changing world where societal norms and expectations are constantly evolving, the risk of self-estrangement is ever-present. The journey into self-estrangement is a journey into the shadowy depths of our own consciousness. 
It is an exploration of the disconnect between the self we present to the world and the self that resides within us. It is a voyage of discovery and potentially of rediscovery. It is a testament to the complexity of human identity and the constant struggle to understand and accept ourselves. In the end, perhaps self-estrangement is not a state to be feared or avoided, but rather a stage in our ongoing quest for self-understanding. Thank you for joining me on this philosophical exploration. Your presence and intellectual participation are highly appreciated. As we part ways for now, I leave you with some questions to ponder. Have you ever experienced self-estrangement? What caused it? And more importantly, did it lead to self-discovery? How can we navigate the waters of self-estrangement without losing ourselves in its depths? I look forward to embarking on another philosophical journey with you soon, where we will continue to delve into the fascinating intricacies of the human mind and experience. Until then, keep questioning, keep exploring, and most importantly, keep discovering. For in the words of Socrates, an unexamined life is not worth living.